Hey yo folks, Monikus here, back more Power Heroes. Today we continue the story of Book 8, where last time we faced off against Meat Hogger, who was not a fun time by the way. Um, although her map was a lot easier to deal with than uh, Hress Hogger, and make no mistake, it was not very fun regardless. Anyway, it seems that now the main concern is uh, we've saved Veronica, but we have to figure out a way to just go about the whole ceremony to maintain this peace plan between Asker and Embla without having to worry about anyone else getting in the way. We still don't know why they want to. The Healing Hands is on our tails, but we'll figure it out maybe in this next chapter. Anyway, I'm not looking forward to what we got to deal with regardless, but, uh, you know, I think we can push through. With the help of Emblem Ike. Haha! <laughs> Completely neutral base kit. He's level 27 because trust me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he's got. He's a very tanky guy, and this B skill is stupid. It, it really will just help him. I, I tossed him into the limited hero battle against Validar. I had an all Ike team, by the way. That was the courtesy of a friend. Same friend actually who got me this Ike, who helped me get this Ike. I went. There were 40 summons. I got no 5 stars all the way throughout until the very end where I got Sather and Embla, the two worst units I could have gotten from the respective colors. I already had an Embla, and I already got her before, on a previous banner. I did not need her again! Anyway, I'm just happy that I managed to get Ike, and my con collection continues. Anyway, rant over, Resident Resplendent, Hana is here! Plus 4, plus speed, pedophile blade, I think she needs flowers, oopsie there you go. Attack speed, solo times 2, repel, and panic smoke 3. Her kid isn't the most exciting, so I don't know if he'll get a montage, but you know, just gotta, you know, just, I might do it. Just gotta figure out a good, interesting thing to do with her. Next we have a tune cheetah, base kit. She's actually uh, engaged to Ike here, so she should be even tankier than she was previously. And finally, we have... Legendary Robin, here to lend a hand to all this tanking. <laughs> well, yeah, he's running base kit. I just swapped out a to control for attack tactics since Ike already has it. And you may be wondering, why am I even doing that to begin with? Everyone else is an infantry unit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, he is paired up with our other unit. Spring Loki, plus attack, plus 15 Dragonflowers, plus 10, and uh, this is her build, Lucrative Bow, Luna, Swiss Barrel, 3, oh, oof, like, like, she's loaded, uh, she's just loaded, <laughs> but yeah, the idea is, Robin debuffs everybody, then we go in with Loki, and then defensively, we swap back to Robin, who's a lot more tanky than uh, Loki is. Regardless, we, we're just gonna be tanking stuff, and then we're gonna be going in with Hana and uh, Loki. Hopefully, the characters from Fates don't ruin that plan, but you know, we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, now that my rambling is done, let's get into it. The Chapter 6 of Book 8. What, what's that one called? Hand Reveal. Huh. We've we received word from Embla that the ceremony will take place as planned. Princess Veronica continues her recovery in isolation. Poor Princess Veronica. If only we could have gotten to her earlier. You can't be everywhere, Serena. Don't blame yourself. We're all doing everything we can. But the assassins can strike at any time or place. There isn't much we can do as it stands. Our intel from Radatoskar helps, but no matter how you look at it, we're at the disadvantage here. If we're always one step behind, the battle is already lost. We need to stop them from moving so freely. They disappear and reappear wherever they choose, in both Asker and Embla. What can we do? The, 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 I figured it would have to be something like that. The roots of Yggdrasil run between every world, and there are lots and lots of them. So, there's another place that connects to all the worlds then. Okay then, besides the gates. The path, path, pathways, for some reason I thought I said pathways, between Asker and Embla alone, there are more than a thousand of them. Huh. You can't defend a thousand different places at once. 
And then the roots themselves are also alive. They're always moving. And what's the point in trying to even consider? My sisters and I can sense them, so it's easy for them to use the roots to disappear and reappear. So that's why we haven't been able to find evidence of their comings and goings. Their ability to deliver surprise attacks in secure locations is making sense now, too. What a nuisance. They remind me of the gates we opened between other worlds. But how do we stop them? What do you think, Alphonse? Ratatoskr, is there any way for us to get close enough to the roots that we could hold them in place? No, you can't stop the movement of the roots. They're always moving. But my sisters will use the thickest of the roots, so... What does that mean for us? Well, like, the thinner ones, I guess, are harder to travel on. It moves slower. It's used when sending a large group. Oh? But only my sisters know where it is. Unfortunate. You know there's a connection between Yggdrasil and Asker, the god of openness. If that's true... Redditosker, I'm a favor to ask. This will be my final request. That's concerning. We're in chapter 6, you know. What is it? I need to know about the movements of the roots. Whenever your sisters try to use the roots, I want to beat them to their target. If we could know where they'd head before they go, we'd be able to stop them. Right, I'll do what I can, but what do you mean it's your final request? They must suspect you've been working against them by now. They've had no definitive proof, but we're only putting you at greater and greater risk. That's why, after this, I can ask no more of you as a spy. I would like you to join us. Officially, if you would. Okay. The ceremony with Embla is soon, and we need to know everywhere your sisters may appear until then. To stop the hand, we will be forced to reveal ours. And you're our trump card, Ratatoskr. I got that look. Don't think I didn't. Wow. Hi, Hayato. Man. <laughs> anyway. That's interesting. Suddenly, Hayato. There's no context for this current situation at hand either, so, uh, you know, it's fine, whatever. Alright, four-star focus Hayato. Gotta say, I don't like his kit. Or at least they should have done a bit more. But, no, but you know how they are. Like, why does he have the special charging plus one weapon when he can't even fire off his special because he's running wind sweep? He hits you once and that's it. You hit him, though, and yeah, he'll activate his special and hit you with a moonbow. But if that were the plan, why not give him a finish skill instead of ideal? I mean, still, it works well. It works well because the lantern will activate his ideal constantly. But a finish will complement his weapon more since that will give him extra damage. Or, you know, they could have given him, if they want to stick Wind Sweep to him so much, they could have given him the tea time set weapon, but a red version. That would have been fine too. That would have been wonderful. Which is probably why they didn't do it. <laughs> Alas, the decisions they make in this game will always frustrate and confuse me. Wonderful. That's so funny. A whole thing from Smash Brothers makes its way all the way into Fire Emblem. I, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I always hoped that there would be a Smash Brothers banner when um, Ultimate was coming out. Like a collaboration banner where it's just characters from Fire Emblem that appear in Smash Brothers, but they have, you know, inspirations in their skills from Smash. 
like Robin would have the Levin sword, it'd be male or female, but more importantly, it wouldn't be just plain old white hair Robin, it would be like, I don't know, red Robin, blue Robin. They've got different colored versions of characters in there, so why not do that? That'd be cool. I also I just wish in general they would give uh Corin and Robin different colored outfits or hair colors just to reference the fact that you can change that. I just need to find out where they're going. That's it. Just find out where they'll be. Mm, hey there, Ratatosker. <laughs> Hello, Retinid Hugger. Something the matter? I, I, I thought you said you were tired. Couldn't sleep? In and out? I tried to fall asleep, but I just couldn't shake this feeling that something was off. Off? Uh, off how? Well, I'll just ask. How about that? Are you betraying our father? Who? I, I would never. Sure. All right. It doesn't matter one way or the other to me. You were no help even when you weren't betraying us. Whether it's saving lives or taking them, you never really stood out, did you, Rabbit Oscar? Dang. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you remember that one time you... You... <laughs> I've had a few bites, right? Maybe a handful of fruit. And I got sleepy. So I curled up to take a little nap. And you... You waited by my side all night long, right? Pointlessly. What was that pointless? I remember. Talk about stupid. You know I always bounce back after a quick nap, and still. Still. I'm not sure where I was going with that. I'm sure there was a point in there somewhere. Mm. And Hogger, I. Look. I need to lie down at a Tusker. Nothing you've done has ever made a difference, so just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Do what makes you feel good, whatever that may be. No one cares. Good night. Nogger, I'm sorry. Hmm. Either Nogger is just a piece of shite. Or, that's her own covert way of saying she's not going to snitch. Whichever one, I don't know. However, I will very much prefer to think that she's just a piece of shite. Also, hi, Yuki Mori. This guy's got massive range on his weapon. The ability to kill off damage reduction by about 30% is not to be taken lightly, and it can screw you over. The allies are in 7 rows and 7 columns. You know what that means? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 6, row, six rows, 7, 6 columns. It's the entire map, folks. <laughs> it's the entire map. I think this only matters in, like, summoner duels. In which case, you must be in the very corner of the map, in which case you're probably losing. Or it's turn one. Or Grand Conquest. Or Rebel Domains. That one also is a, a factor. And I just think that's funny. But yeah, it's a good effect. Uh, but back on that Smashville thing, it's what I always wanted because, you know, uh, there's actually a Roy. The Roy in Smash Bros. Ultimate has a unique design that hasn't been used at all in actual Fireball media, which is kind of surprising. 
And I'd love it if that Roy was the one used to be put into Smash Brothers. That is a hilarious amount of buffs there. Because that's double bonus doubler, her weapon, and then Robin kicking him. Start. I'll crush you. No, no, calm down, Hana. Farm work and hunting is all I've ever been good at. That's fine. That's good to know, Mosey. But can Robin take you down? Let's see. Let's rumble. <laughs> Let's rumble. I get to, why not say let's smash? <laughs> uh, that reminds me. I feel like I have to apologize. I've been completely gone for like a month. There's been some stuff getting put out here and there. But I've been completely uh, absorbed in other things. And while I would say it's been work. It's also just like this project that I'm working on that's completely taken up all of my time. I'm so absorbed in it that I just haven't been doing much else of anything. It, especially Fire Emblem. I scarcely play Fire Emblem. Heroes now. But I just really want to do this project that I'm working on, so. It's still not done. So, but I'm, I'm gonna try to at least pay more attention and do some more videos. Yeah, we're gonna initiate. Ow. I wonder what level he's gonna be by the end of this. <laughs> he's just getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> We are family. For my friends. That's also an important line. Yes, for your friends. Press folder. It will be here. Tomorrow around this time, the route will reach to this place. That is when we will use it to perform the mission that was assigned to us. Here? I see. I I'm glad you're willing to share where you'll be with me, Press Felder. But, are you sure it's allowed for you to tell me? Didn't Father say to always keep missions secret? Reddit Oscar, we're family. I know that I can trust you. Where'd the music go? Where'd the, where'd the music go? I know Nate Hogger is suspicious of you. She's not bothering to hide her feelings. Even so. I still trust you, no matter what happens, without question. You are my sister. Oh, I smell you. I hope they hug. Don't cry, Ratatoska. After this is all over, everything will be right. We can go back to being a family, with all of us together. I would like that. So would I. But for now, I must go. I have matters I must attend to. See you tomorrow, Reddit Oscar. See you, Hushbelger. I'm so sorry. I have to do this. Oh, hi, Azor. Corin and I are reflections of one another, as are the paths our destinies have followed. Is that right? I see you've taken some inspirations as well. In your latest outfit, this is the most different Azoria's ever looked. A princess of Nor who was raised in Hoshido. Her song echoes across the battlefield with her faith in Korin granting her strength. 
That Wings of Mercy Echo skill, I believe, is available on everybody. So, oh boy. It's just normal Wings of Mercy 3, so that's kind of neat. And here I thought they would have just taken everything to the next level. gonna move everyone forward. <laughs> Everybody take a step forward please. <laughs> Great ether. Oh, I just thought of something I could do. I've been sitting on a lot of montages lately. Like I have one for Ishtar, I've got one with a uh, with Brave Ike where I was using the Devotion Axe. That was meant to be an April Fool's video, but I wasn't too confident in doing it. I had several ideas for an April Fool's video. Like, for a Smash Brothers video. Hey, what did you just do to me? Oh, right, cantrip. Wait, get back here, you. One idea I have for an April Fools was to market a uh, Emblem Ike montage video, but then have it actually be a Smash Brothers video. <laughs> Just plain and simple bait and switch. That, or it would have been an actual Emblem Ike montage video, but then here and there, there would be gameplay of Ike in, from various games. Like Then it would be Smash Brothers, sometimes it would be Radiant Dawn. <laughs> I thought that would have been funny. Here. This is the place. This is where your Drusil's thickest root will open their path. Thank you, Radish Oscar. There is an energy about this place that is similar to that around the gates we're familiar with. Which may mean... Do you have a plan? The royal bloodlines of Asker and Embla carry a pair of opposing powers. We Askrens wield the power to open the gates to other worlds, while Emblians, the Emblians close them. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm sorry to have to call on you while you're in such a condition, Princess Veronica. Whatever it takes, if it means peace between our countries, holding that has not got to be comfortable. If this root of Yggdrasil is anything like our gates, the power of Emblem may be our best hope for victory. I will give everything for this. Right. If this works, the assassins lose their advantage, and we stand the fighting chance. Okay then. So we don't really know what their plan is here, but they might just be trying to attack uh, Emblem again. Get him. Is there a problem? Um, let's do this. Keep you right where I want you. What shall we do? Over here. This and we can either take out Mozu or take out Azura. No, let's take out Azura. Mozu is actually stronger with Mo when her allies are close. How unfortunate for you, Yukimura, that you don't have a free follow-up. Otherwise, you would have killed. Maybe. They sure are. Woo! I 
I do wish it was like the one from Smash Bros. He just throws the sword up and then he just comes straight down. Anyway, enough about me commenting how much I wish this Ike was like the one in Smash Brothers. Hana, get him. Ah. Sheeta, get her. Yeah. Alright, nice. This was a quick one. The time has come. Stand back. By Embla's will. Close the way. Close off the roots of the world tree and their pathways between all the nine realms. To whatever land it goes, to whatever time it flows, Embla rejects all. Ooh. Just those roots have been closed off, have they? Ooh. That little princess has gotten stronger. So. It was right a Tosker, wasn't it? Not that it matters. We just got word from Father. The plan has changed. Father's stepping in and taking it from here. Uh-oh. He's... I see. Any target that's caught his attention has no chance. So, we don't have to worry about... Uh, we don't have anything to worry about? Is that what she said? We know where and when their ceremony is taking place. That's where he'll do it. Right in the middle of everyone. Everyone will see his power is supreme. Uh-oh. Okay then, well, that's a concerning little factoid. So this means they're gonna show up some other way then. Or just, I don't, I don't know. Interesting though. So we closed off the roots, and it seems like it's every single root. It wasn't just a specific one like I thought would it, it would be. So that's neat. So that means in the next chapter, this is chapter six. We're gonna be at the midpoint. Oops. So, oh, this is a terrible example. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're all gonna be right near the midpoint. So we might get to see what he actually looks like. We're gonna get to see if it's actually that buff dude who was in the cover or not. In which case, if he's the father, then the other girl that we didn't m meet yet might be like the mother or something. Then again, there's been no mention of a mother so far. So, until then, feel free to let me know what you guys thought about this chapter, what you think is going to happen next, and until next time, take care.